Hi everyone, this is Motorcycle Showroom, a channel dedicated to introduce new line of motorcycle from leading manufacturers around the world. If you are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe and like my videos. The 2022 Indian Chief. Minimalism is often the sign of a craft. To reduce, subtract, and refine until you are left with only what's needed. To take away the clutter but not the spirit. In this case, to shave about 120 pounds and 4 inches off of the previous Chief model, refine chassis design, and produce a new motorcycle that can do more with less. The 2022 Chief is part of Indian Motorcycle's first major update to the heavyweight cruiser lineup in a decade but redesigning a big twin is treading on hallowed ground. Every piece of the frame has some sort of curvature or flow to it. The welds are clean and nicely finished. Small details like recessed engine mounts show the time and attention paid to subtle but impactful features. The gooseneck and window created behind the steering head at the front of the frame is more a reference to V-twin customs with pulled-back gas tanks than it is to anything in Indian's lineage, but it works. It works very well. The line from gas tank, through the seat, down through the shocks to the rear axle is, as Christoph said, simple and clean. And, as intended, being able to see so much of the tubular steel frame has my mind spinning as I consider custom potential. Powering the chief is Indian's Thunderstroke 116, an engine that I have put about 15,000 delightful miles. For 2022, the 1890cc, two-valve per cylinder, pushrod twin has been slightly modified for the entire air-cooled Indian line, adding frame mounts to the front cylinder to increase the chassis torsional rigidity, and slimming down the primary cover to make a little more room near the rider's left foot. New throttle maps, rain, sport, and standard, were also designed for the chief application, specifically to meet Euro 5 emission standards and work with the new intake and exhaust setups. The air-cooled 49-degree V-twin pulses in the frame, giving the rider the connected feeling that is so important in the cruiser riding experience. But the ride-by-wire and throttle sensor placement result in a vague throttle feel that leaves something to be desired. The clutch feel is also barely existent, so it took some getting used to before I could achieve hard launches in standard or sport modes without spinning the tire. The new Chief family consists of three models, Chief, Chief Bobber, and Super Chief. Each model is offered in base trim with a Thunderstroke 111, as well as a limited or dark horse version with chrome or black trim, respectively, and the Thunderstroke 116 engine. The Super Chief is Indian's more touring-oriented model with 16-inch spoked wheels, swept-back bars, a pillion seat, soft saddlebags, floorboards, and a quick detach windscreen. For those looking for a more traditional cruiser seating position, the bobber comes with the same 16-inch wheels, forward foot controls, and mini ape handlebars. With drag racing-inspired handlebars, solo seat, and mid-mounted foot controls, the base model Chief and Chief Dark Horse have the most aggressive, stripped-down aesthetic and ergonomic package of the lineup. The approach to the new Chief is honest, but modern. The bike is built to ride hard and it feels that way. It's sturdy, simple, steel. Riding the bike is an incredible experience and Indian has truly brought a new level of competition to the heavyweight cruiser segment. By prioritizing the customer, valuing their legacy, and holding steadfast through homologation, Stenegard and Kristoff have helped Indian keep the soul and produce a new American icon.
Back in the day, baggers weren't a thing. But that didn't stop riders from strapping up some essentials and hitting the open road. And while there's definitely something glorious about that minimalism, you can bet those tough guys would have welcomed the convenience of some storage and a bit of relief from the unrelenting wind. Introducing the Indian Motorcycle Super Chief, a classic American V-twin cruiser that offers the timeless spirit of minimalism with a little more comfort and convenience to do serious miles. Speaking of miles, our Thunderstroke motor was designed to devour them for our baggers and touring models. And making 120 pound-feet of torque, it's perfect for double duty, in town or on the highway. The Super Chief was designed with versatility in mind. Swept back handlebars for all-day comfort, factory floorboards for longer rides, and a quick-release windshield that makes it easy to go from wind in your hair to protection from the elements. Then there's the bags, with plenty of storage for all your essential gear. And with its lower seat height, low center of gravity, and compact wheelbase, the Super Chief is a touring-capable cruiser manageable for any rider. And that's really the bike's mission, to bring the simplistic power and euphoria of the open road to riders of every size and skill level. We've also included some tech features, like three selectable ride modes and a touchscreen display that offers turn-by-turn -turn navigation. The new Indian Chief does it all without sacrificing anything. The perfect motorcycle for those who value versatility. But perfection is different for everyone. That's why we've developed a lineup of additional parts to make your bike feel even more your own. For those riders more intent on bigger miles and tackling the elements, there's heated grips, LED driving lights, and a quick-release low windshield. And if you're gonna ride two up, you'll appreciate our sissy bar and backrest options with a quick-release system that makes installation fast and painless. We've also got slip-on mufflers and classic fishtail exhaust tips that intensify the bike's look and sound. These are just some of the premium accessories we have available, so be sure to check out our motorcycle configurator at IndianMotorcycle.com to build your own. The all-new Super Chief from Indian Motorcycle. Thanks for watching our video. Stay safe and see you again next time.